Buckingham Palace fire risk to Queen, old cables could be catastrophic. A huge overhaul is underway at Buckingham Palace as workers revealed its 1940s cabling is a highly dangerous fire risk that could put the royal family's safety in jeopardy unless it is urgently replaced. A 10-year refurbishment of the palace is underway, expected to cost nearly £370 million, to avoid the risk of catastrophic building failure. Cabling at the Queen's main residence has been described as aging and potentially dangerous. And removing the degraded vulcanized Indian rubber VIR, cables is the first stage of reservicing the building. So far two kilometers of the wiring has been replaced, equivalent to the length of 40 Olympic-sized swimming pools, the palace said. The Queen's audience room was among those rewired, with work taking place as she stayed at Balmoral. Barbara Welch, program director, said, the vulcanized Indian rubber becomes really brittle with age and it cracks and it falls off, exposing live electrical cables, which is a real fire risk. We are doing this removal work for the vocabling now because it presents the highest risk to the palace and therefore the sooner we get that risk out of this building, the better. But there is no map showing where the wires wind through the floorboards. That means engineers have had to pull the old cables up through ceilings and across floorboards as they wind their way around the residence. McCarden, an electrical engineer, said, You think it would just go straight down the corridor but in actual fact it takes a convoluted route to get it to that point. The building, which was first used as a royal palace by Queen Victoria, has not been redecorated since Elizabeth II ascended the throne in 1952. It is hoped the extensive renovations will extend the palace's life by around 50 years. Alongside cabling, boilers, pipes and other wires will all be replaced to protect the palace, family and their priceless art collection. The renovations have also unearthed a number of unexpected items beneath the floorboards. They included packets of old cigarette brands Blair's Navy Cut, Wild Woodbine, and Piccadilly No. 1. A copy of London's Evening Standard dates back to November 27, 1889, two years after Victoria, Empress of India, had celebrated her Golden Jubilee.